Good morning, everyone. Morning. It's time for the daily message. Today is Wednesday, the 5th of February, 2020. And today we're going to be tackling the chapter Mark, chapter 6, 1 to 6. Uh, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we pray. Father in heaven, um, we thank you for, we adore you. We give all praise to you, Lord. We we honor you, Abba, Papa. And we thank you for amazing miracles that you're doing. Thank you for all the movement that's happening. And Lord, we just pray for our own lives. We pray for our, our own education and our own passion to grow with for you. We confess our sins. We we say sorry for the things that we say wrong and do wrong. We ask for mercy and forgiveness. Um, and if it is that we are just doing, doing, doing and not putting you first, Lord, then we ask for forgiveness for that. And Father, show us the way. Show us how to seek you first. Show us how to, to work with you and, and use instead of our own ideas. May it be in business, may it be in ministry, may it be at home. May it be with friends, whatever it is, Lord, that we put you first. We thank you for your, the power of your Spirit. We ask the Spirit to come and fill us now. Give us wisdom, understanding, and knowledge in today's scriptures. We ask that you take away our fear and our pride. And then, Lord, we pray for the sick. We pray for those that are going through cancer trauma. We pray for the schools. We pray for Rebecca and Sarah Lee as they enter into the new school, Lord. And, Lord, that you may give them take away their fear and anxiety and just fill them Lord with your love and your passion we pray for mommy and uh, we pray for the business Lord as we move into a new era and Lord as we um, move forward into different ways of doing things and more strategy and growth Lord and Father we, we ask for your, for your blessing upon it and Lord if there's anything that we're doing wrong we would rather do it your way so forgive us, Father, for the mistakes that we have made and, and guide us in the right direction. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So today, the message in the Bible of Mark 6 is the people of Nazareth refuse to believe. How many people do you know in life that refuse to know and want to know Jesus? Do we get a lot of that? We do. We do. So, let me just go into this Bible. It says, Jesus left there and went to his hometown, accompanied, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things, they asked? What's this wisdom that has been given him? That he even does miracles. Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son? And the brother of James and Joseph and Judah and Simon? Aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, Only in his hometown, among his relatives, and in his own house, is a prophet without honor. He could not do any miracles there except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. And he was amazed at their lack of faith. Wow. So do we not have a lack of faith sometimes in our own circles, in our own families? And in our own lives, yeah. We, we, we tend to, you know, miss, we tend to miss those, those areas of our lives. And it says here in the scriptures, it says, Jesus said to the prophets, in other words, a worker, a work for God is never honored in his hometown. But that doesn't make his work any less important. A person doesn't need to be respected or honored to be useful to God. If friends, neighbors, or family don't respect your Christian work, don't let their rejection keep you from serving God. Jesus could not have done greater miracles in Nazareth, but he chose not to because of the people's pride and unbelief. 
The miracles he did had little effect on the people because they did not accept his message or believe that he was from God. Therefore, Jesus looked elsewhere, seeking those who respond to his miracles and his message. Wow. So, it's often the case where we are working and doing our work within our family or in our community and a lot of people don't see or don't acknowledge Jesus. And I can even see that in our church where people don't have a relationship with Jesus. They tend to come and we call them pew warmers. Sit at the church, warm the pew and then go home. So Father, we ask for inspiration that you may help us to change those areas of our lives. We thank you. And may we pray. Father, we, we accept your message today. We understand that it is hard for us sometimes in our own communities to, to preach the word. But yet, Lord, you have granted us wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And Father, you will, you will always continue to grow us as people, as followers of you. Thank you, Lord, for, for always being there for us and helping us with um, inspiration powered by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, as you continue to bless this family, bless, our, bless the evangelism that we're doing through you, Lord, and as vessels. And Lord, may we give all glory to you. In Jesus' name, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Goodbye.